Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators, the best kept secret on the internet and our snorkeling Mauritius series. Today we are jumping in the water at Turtle Bay and that is in Balaclava, or as Michelle and I like to call it, Balaclava. And that's on the west side of Mauritius. As always, we'll be ranking these on the categories of location, water access, wildlife, water traffic, and of course, facilities. And we'll be ranking it on our categories of one to five manta rays. Five manta rays. So let's jump right in. Where exactly is Balaclava, Balaclava, and Turtle Bay? It's only about half an hour from Port Louis, even closer to where many people stay up in Grand Bay. And there's, of course, several resorts down the west side, so it is nice and centrally located. It is, however, well over an hour drive coming from the other side of the island down by the airport. And there are, of course, resorts all around the island. As you come in, you'll be on road B41. B41, and as you can see here on the map, there are lots of different resorts in this area. So that might lead you to believe that it's going to be nice and easy to find your way to Turtle Bay. That would be incorrect. There might be several opportunities in which you feel that you've taken a wrong turn. Quality of the roads is not very good. The keeping of the vegetation on the sides of the roads isn't very good. You might think that you're in the wrong spot if it weren't for some signs that are around. And then once you arrive to the actual parking area for Turtle Bay, uh, it's in between the Maritime and the Weston on this little dirt path that goes out here and this is where you can park. So it is not very well uh, marked specifically for this area. This doesn't feel like a public access spot. It feels more like a back road for one of these resorts, but it is public access. This is where you can park and where you should park. But today we're focusing on the south side of this bay. Now, because it is pretty close to many of the different resorts in the north and not so far from Port Louis, I'm gonna give this four out of five mantra. When it comes to water access, I've got great news. We've got ourselves another beach. So as you get out of your car, you will see a kind of a pagoda. I'm not sure what you call this thing <laughs> out on the water. And the best snorkeling here is to the right of this. Things are looking pretty nice here in Mauritius when it comes to beach access at some of our favorite snorkel spots. Here you can see my main man, Nathaniel, enjoying himself. And that, of course, gets us the illustrious five manta rays. Five manta rays. Now, when it comes to wildlife and things that you can hope to see when you jump in the water here, you can see a surprising amount of things here. As I mentioned, there's a river that empties into this bay. And so you do get some unique wildlife here that you might not see in other spots around the island. But I was pleasantly surprised at the diversity and the health of this reef all around here. Now, my first experience was going first thing in the morning with some friends and we had a great time here. The visibility was spectacular. Just the health of the vegetation, all kinds of stuff. We saw an octopus, we saw all kinds of fish. The coral specifically was incredibly diverse and we had a great time. Now I will say that I've come back to this place in the afternoon when you get some of those thermals going on in the water so that uh, water heats up and it just generally affects the visibility and the visibility was significantly hindered the second time I went. So I definitely recommend this place going in the morning. Just as we typically do, you're gonna avoid the crowds, but man, the visibility was night and day. Now, of course, the name is Turtle Bay, and I will just tell you that I have yet to see a turtle here, but I am still hopeful. But you can see all kinds of stuff. It does get rather deep, uh, pretty quick, but actually the, the bulk of the snorkeling is going to be outside of this little roped off area. So the roped off area is more for swimming, but the best snorkeling is actually gonna be just outside of this area. But in, you know, 20 meters or so, 30 meters, it does get Quite a bit deeper and then you do have to begin thinking about our next topic which is boat traffic but when it comes to wildlife i'm going to give this an enthusiastic four out of five manta rays so as i was saying with water traffic this is a very major point for tourists to get in the water uh, there's lots of boats that run in and out of here so you do want to be very mindful of the boat traffic in turtle bay that said if you go early like we always recommend that you do always recommend that you do you can have this place to yourself like we did and you can see here these drone shots were done early in the morning and there's just no one around and again of course that also helps with the water visibility as well so i highly recommend going in the morning but you do need to be mindful of specifically boat traffic but also during the busy season there's going to be plenty of tourists around as well so i'm going to give this three out of five mantra 
Finally, as we noted before, there is actual parking here, although it does fill up fast. It's not very big. But there's no real bathrooms associated with this, at least not publicly nearby in this area. All of the bathrooms are with the resorts, and so you want to have taken care of any important business before you arrive, unless you are a guest at one of these resorts. But since there is parking, I'm gonna give this three out of five manta rays. So I do encourage you to come check out Turtle Bay when you visit Mauritius. It is a beautiful, diverse place with lots of different corals, different than many other places along the west side specifically. So it's worth it in that regard by itself. Um, very good visibility, especially early in the morning. A great place for families to come. We have had a great time here several different days with our friends here in Mauritius. Of course, if you have any questions, please put those down below in the comments as well as any other uh, comments or suggestions for folks who might be visiting. And we'll see you next time.